Oops. <laughs> that was rather abrupt. Sorry about that. I'm not sure what happened. Continue on. Part two. So the king had Daniel brought out and they threw him into the lion's den. The king said to him, You've always served your God faithfully, so may he save you. As soon as the sun began to rise, the king hurried to the lion's den. He called out to Daniel, You serve the living God. Has he saved you from the lions? Daniel answered, My God sent an angel to shut the mouths of the lions. They haven't hurt me at all. The king ordered his servants to lift Daniel out of the den. Then King Darius wrote to the people from every nation and language in the whole world. He said, I order people in every part of my kingdom to respect and honor God. Decisions, decisions. That was a good story. Daniel had kind of some big decisions to make there, didn't he? He was very brave because he knew that if he did what was right, God would protect him, even in the depths and darkness of the lion's den. Well, that makes me feel better. How about you? Remember, God made you special, and he loves you very much. Second Thessalonians 2.15, uh, Thessalonians is in the New Testament. Second Thessalonians 2.15 says, Stand firm. Hold on to what we taught you. And remember, some of you probably know the passage in the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, that talks about the armor of God. Yeah, it's a good time to, um, you know, get those kind of clothes on. The shield of faith and the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness and the um, belt of truth and the gospel shoes of peace and the sword of the spirit. And the shield of faith. Yeah. Like get dressed up in that. And stand firm. Yeah. So. I did a silly song earlier. Excuse me. I don't remember what date. But these are the. Sorry. Words. To that song. Miel is honey. Dinero is money. The thing about this canto is it's tonta tanto. So silly, I know. So thank you for watching. This is a temporary YouTube channel to read to my grandkids and to you other friends that are watching. Um, tomorrow is Thursday, so we'll see what we can do tomorrow. All right, so keep praying for your neighborhood, your town, your county, your state, your country, and the world. Yeah, just keep praying. That's what Daniel did three times a day. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, it's because he loved God and he knew where to go in times of trouble. All right. Sleep well or wake up well, whatever time of day you're watching this. And yes, my hat is now my scarf. See, these things are fun. Okay. Hasta la vista. <laughs>